Welcome to the Trading Lounge and the Commodities Report, starting with uh, US spot gold. Um, we're seeing a stronger US dollar, so we're seeing a bit of uh, pressure on some of the commodities, uh, but all in line with uh, their counts. So with uh, US spot gold heads on the weekly robo, our stop is at uh, 11.77, and at the end of the week, we'll bring it up to this low here. Uh, well, wherever that low may be. Um, in terms of the wave count, this is the point where we need to be careful because uh, with this structure moving down through here, uh, we have five waves here and then the markets pull back to the 50, 61.8% retracement level uh, here. So it very well could be the uh, the the top of this rally here. Um, obviously, this market is working with 1,200, and it hasn't found the 1,200 as support or resistance just yet. Um, we expect it to come back to the 1,200, as mentioned yesterday. Um, we just need to allow it to, to, to play out, uh, that's all. So, But bear in mind that this can certainly be an A and a B and a C correction to the 50% level here, and the market can work lower from that point. We would need in first step, as we say, we expect the uh, market to pull back to the 1200 anyway, but if the 1200 becomes the retested resistance, then at least at that point we know we're in for a larger correction uh, in, in this space here and also possibly uh, lower as well. So we need to be careful about that. In the wave count to the upside, we were looking for wave A, wave B, and wave C here in terms of one, two, three, four, and wave five here. So we could count them very clearly. So if you're going to exit, then that was the place to do it yesterday. Uh, in the short term here, we can see the markets above the 1200, the closest largest number. The market is working with this level here. From these little five waves here, we were looking for a 61.8 retracement level for those five waves which is at the 1200 anyway we are looking for it in uh, a three wave price action here so that's still underway it will be looking to cover that gap now you know i've got this as an a and a b and a c up here and to the 50 percent retracement level and all the rest of it but at the end of the day um, we need to allow this market time to mature at this number and then we need to work out if it's going to be support or resistance and then we will take our trade setups from that point so there's not a lot to do at this stage uh, in terms of the little structure here then uh, just wanted to sort of break things down a little bit so the move down from the top here we could call wave A and wave B here and wave C starting that should pull back to the 50 60 percent area or at least try and cover this gap here now that said if this is an A and a B and a C here, that means we'll take out the top up here. But to confirm that, we would need uh, this this um, this area through here. So if we bring in bring in a line through here, uh, then uh, above above after it's traded down here, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that okay, we've got 1200. The first level is 1210. Okay, this is all group one ten. 20 and 30 uh, so if so if the market bounces off 1200 it's going to come back and check this first block of supply here sellers if it can establish support on 1210 then we can use the high that it makes above the 1210 as the reference point and then we can use that to go long from that point okay so that would be the that 12 15 roughly would be the 16 would be the entry point uh, for a long trade a, a safe safer longer trade to the upside if the 1200 becomes the retested resistance and we have a reference point uh, to work with uh, a low below the 1200 then we can use that as a setup to go short from that point if you're following that particular pathway there when we look at silver for instance um, its move to the upside uh, through here currently counts as, well, three waves. We could look at it as one, two, and three, or we could look at it as an A and a B and a C wave topped here, and then we'll be rolling over to the downside here. So once again here, this, um, this big grey line here should be at 1650, and that's a medium level. 
<coughs> so it carries a lot of weight. So far as things go so far, we can call it wave three. And we've got an A and a B and a C wave coming in here for the 38.2 retracement level. Now, if that comes down and bounces off here and, and moves up, then we're looking at wave five up here. If the 1650 becomes the retested resistance, then we're going to be looking at shorting and we'll be looking for a, a low below here. Uh, once again, this market is just dancing with this 1650. That's what it's all about. And of course, the 17 here is there as well. Um, but I place more importance on the 1650 than the 17. Uh, dollar mark here in this uh, in this instance when using when working with price here uh, such so look this does have a bear this is just to you know observe what's uh, occurring here as uh, as well so while it's above the closest largest number which is 1650 then it's uh, positive but um, anyway I would just want to see how this plays out in this in this space here the metal markets, um, starting with copper here, and uh, just on the um, just on, on on this intraday count here. Now, it's a little bit. I mean, this first of all, this wave C up here never really uh, completed properly in in my view in terms of pulling all this apart here. So it's made it a little bit tricky. Uh, yes, I know that you could count like one and two to here, maybe five waves into this point and wave four and wave five here, so be it. But what I was sort of focused on is, is this pattern down through here. Uh, first of all, I'm not too worried about this spike here, okay? I, I know that from this low here, we've got an A and a B and a C here. Just because it spiked up there on some headline news, I'm not really giving that much sort of consideration or much weight either. So what I've done here, I've counted, I've counted this down from here as an A wave and a B wave, and then wave one to here, wave two to here, all of wave three here, wave four should have moved to this point here as an A and a B and a C, and then wave five here. So it works quite well as an A and a B and a C wave, a corrective wave to that point there, but it mustn't go below that point. If we get another move down here, then we've got a bearish picture, then we'll have five waves down. But as it stands, I would expect it to come back to the orange line, the 72, and then work up higher from that point there. So let's see, it's getting there. What we're doing is we're allowing the market to mature at 272, which is the number that we're working with. So that's what we're doing. So I don't have any answers just yet, but just allow it to mature and we'll we'll have it sort of worked out by Wednesday or so. Ah, oh, sorry, another couple of days. Easter's thrown me out a bit. Okay, the oil market. Okay, now in the bigger picture here, we're looking at... Um, all of this is a corrective pattern, even though that this made a new low here and we could label this wave four and wave five here because it made a new low here. Um, I don't think it's the case because the move from this high down to here is only in three waves here. So we have to label it as a B wave and then that means we need to label this as a C wave up here as, as in five waves. So we're going to have a look at this five waves in a moment. There is another count for all of this correction here which is a bit more complicated which is on the Elliott Wave uh, web, uh, on the Elliott Wave uh, section for oil. You can look at the various degrees of structure and, and the count there. And they both basically tell the same story. So our target to the upside is these old highs here or 55 that we were looking for. But our main point here is to count five waves up in this leg here. So that's what we're going to do now. And in that, uh, we're looking at it like this in terms of wave one, wave two, all of wave three here, wave four back to here was a little bit uh, cumbersome, but it did pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree here, and it never overlapped wave one here. So all in all, as ugly as it is, it's still, she's still good looking. So uh, all good there. Um, so this to the upside here, uh, from wave four to wave five up here, we're looking for five waves up here. Now let's go in and have a look at, at that five waves. So in those five waves from wave four here, we're looking up for wave one and back for wave two. And then during this week, we'd been tracking up as one and two and three and four. And yesterday we were looking for wave five up here. 
So wave four can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree or 38.2% retracement level from that low to that high, which comes in at 52 there. So between 52 and that previous low here, that's what we would be looking for uh, as, a, as a movement. So an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. Now, wave fours can get complicated, so it could end up in a bit of a triangle pattern or something or rather like that. I'm not quite sure. You just don't know what's going to be coming out of the gate but um, we are looking for a wave four and it should not pull back below 51 if it does then you need to look at the a bearish scenario from that point okay the soybeans uh, wheat and corn and coffee and sugar all the grains so uh, with soybeans here we're long at uh, 9005 uh, 9905 and um, we'll look to reverse at this number here, 956. Uh, we will bring this up here depending on where the low closes for the week uh, here. And in terms of the Elliott count uh, from here, I have been looking at <clears throat> this hole from the low here. It's been very difficult to read, but it's, it seems pretty evident that this move up here is a corrective A wave in three waves, an A and a B and a C wave here for an A wave. So that makes the rest of all of this corrective here, okay? So we'll look for an A wave, a B wave, and then we're looking for wave C here in five waves, which is a bit hard to read, but one, two, three, four, five, it's like an ending uh, pattern that's diminishing and now we're looking at uh, a move down here now this move uh, that because once wave C finishes here of course then all these lows will be taken out now that said I just need to be a little bit careful this move from this low to this high here this is the 50 60 percent retracement level so once again we're working with uh, 72 number 972 here and we're in group two now um, I just want to give this some time here. If this becomes very clear that, you know, that we're going to get something down here, then we'll obviously get a counter trend and then further down from that point there. But from this point here, if I've made a mistake here, then we'll be moving up from that point uh, there. So that was, you know, let's, I just want to, I want to see this mature uh, here uh, before before I make any decisions but it does appear that we're working with a corrective pattern across here and uh, further downside would be uh, would be looking for now in terms of that structure to the downside we've only got here wave one here wave two here this would be three four and five here then the a the b and the c if we get five here down into nine six five area here then we know that we'll be going lower so we'll wait for the rally and then we'll look to take it on this side here to the downside okay so i'll just clean some of this up <clears throat> now the wheat market um we're long here, we've got a reverse at 504 on this low here. At the end of the week, we'll move it up to this low here. I must say that all of this move through here does appear to be corrective because we've got, as it appears, well, look at the weekly chart here, we've got overlapping wave structures to, to a certain point. Uh, so it is quite bearish and we'll sort of expect one of these to drop straight through here. Um, you know, let's just, just we'll give it a little bit more time. Let's have a look at, this is the, the, the structure that we're looking at at the moment. So um, this move up here as wave A, <clears throat> I mean, we've been coming down all through here, of course, and this move up here as wave A, it can be counted as a five wave structure, but it also can count better as a corrective wave to the upside. So I don't really know what to make of it. I'm not sure, so I can't really use it that much, but what we can do is we can look at this as being uh, some sort of A wave, a B, definitely a B wave, and then a C wave here. And C wave would be looking for five waves, and things don't always go according to plan with um, <clears throat> these commodities. So we'll look at this as wave one, two, three here, possibly four here, 
and then up there. If not, then this would su simply be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here, and then we'll be moving up through there anyway. So it's all a bit messy, that's what it is. And um, if we found support, I mean, while we're above 500, we really wanna consider about, you know, being on that side of the fence, so to speak, on the long side. If that became the opposite, well then of course it'd be on the short side. So on the long side, what we're actually looking for is support on 530, 530, 10, 20 and 30 top of group ones a tested support on 30 would separate the order flow from 500 and then we can start looking at 550 they'll start building to the upside from that point there so uh let's just see how we go because it is a little bit messy to uh you know to really confirm that it this is this and and, and whatnot it does appear that we got a little five waves down from the top here so it's probably likely that we'll get a little little a b and c here and then another five uh here at minimum here let me just check see if what i've got here it's just all a little bit unreadable to be honest yeah it's, i can't do anything with it all i can say is if we get support on 530 nice tested support then we'll be going up from that point we're on the we're, we're on the right side of it but um as i mentioned that it does appear to be correct of the whole move um but we'll just work through it. The corn market, um, if we're short here, we'll look to add at uh, 373 or 372 or 371 uh, in, in this area through here. Uh, the reverse is up through to here. Um, yeah, so that's that. And the, uh, the, the pattern, once again, is also tricky to work out because the move up through here can be counted as corrective or impulsive. Uh, this move down through here appears to be uh, corrective. It feels like we've got five waves in this little section here. So we've got an A and a B and, and a little sort of C wave in here. Not really sort of unclear, but all I can work it out to is that we have, it appears that we've got a nice clean five waves up here on the daily, okay? And it's pulled back into the 72 sort of area here. Now, if this 72 here is breached and the market comes through that, then we really want to be on the short side of the market. We want to be adding to the short side of the market on, the, on, on, on that break here. Now, if this stays in place and this little high here gets taken out, then we're going to be going up further from that point. If I got this here. So as you can see here from this low here, it does appear we've got one, two, all the way, five waves up for wave three, four and five here. The sharp move here is a little bit unreadable, you know, so, and this one here still hasn't fully developed either. So I don't know sort of what we have. This little impulse wave up here gives me hope that there is uh, a push to the upside, but a breaching of this low here at 372 would create the bearish uh, bias from that point. So that's the thing to watch here. Um, It should stay above that line. If it doesn't, then you know that, well, then you know that, you know, you need to be short on the breach of 372, basically. The coffee market, um, once again, we're also long here as well, and our reverse is at 131. And at the end of the week, we'll move this up into this area here and um, look to reverse the position because all of this here also appears to be a corrective, a corrective rally. So it's got bear mark, um, uh, bear market uh, patterns with it. So in terms of just the four hour chart here, from this low here, we were looking at this in three waves to be the A wave here. So we're looking at a flat correction and then a B wave and then a C wave here. I don't think the C wave's finished here. So I think that's just the top of the third. So the one, two, three, four, and five up there. Uh, testing the 150 and then rolling over from that point there. So uh, that's what we'll probably drill into this here once it develops a little bit and we'll see what we've actually got here. But it's pretty clear that this move up here is corrective in three waves, which makes all of this, the rest of the corrective pattern here. So we're looking for failure on the retest of 150 or 148 thereabouts. The sugar market as well, we're also along at 12.93 here. This is also probably just a rally in terms of retesting $13 here, which is a major trading level. Uh, so with that pattern in there, we'd be looking at 
uh, this retesting in here, failing and then moving down from that area there. So later on in the week, we'll pull this apart as much as we can and try and get some sort of feeling uh, for that uh, as such there. The cotton market, um, well, we're long here on this uh, switch, weekly switch setup in here. Um, so along at this price and the reverses on this low here as such but um, at the end of the week we'll move that up into this area here in terms of the wave count here uh, well you know from cotton we've had this big move down all down through here so we we're counting into the low here if you may recall and um, now we're looking for uh, well, basically an ABC correction at minimum, so an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. And we're looking for uh, five waves in the C wave here, and it's quite clear we've got one and two here, and we're looking up here for wave three, then wave four, and then wave five. Okay, so that's what we're looking at at this point, and this would play out like this as wave one, ABC for two here, and then wave three up here. Now wave three high can be in place or we can get one more little high before we get uh, wave four coming into play here. Because I can count five waves from that low here, from that low there to here, there's five waves in there, but there is also this move up here and back. So it may be one, two, three, four, and five moving up here a bit further then wave four. Basically 65 is a medium level, it carries a lot of weight, it's, um, uh, it is now basically uh, support uh, and also too in, in, in sort of uh, real terms too the 62 is support and this is important because this is like $61.8 so 618 so in geometry terms the 62 is really quite important and you can get to see that on the daily chart here at 62 here you can start to see that well well it really is a balance point uh within the market and um yeah so that's that but anyway uh we're on the long side so that's all good the orange juice market here is uh we are short based on that break here and um, we would be long at uh, on the reverse of uh, this market here on this price here but um, let's see how we go we might be able to get a better long trade into this because on the on the uh, on, just on the one hour chart this is the low here it does appear that we have five waves up here and this is the 50 60 percent retracement level here that we had targeted for so we may see a turn at this point here so if we see this moving up here we may uh, look for uh, a change in trend and changing from short to long a little bit earlier at that point if you're already short in this market uh, you might want to take profit uh, right here right now because from this high here down to this leg here there's five waves in here not that we can see them that clearly but sometimes you can figure things out or well, a little fourth wave in here nice strong third wave in the middle point being is that wave a wave b and then in this little section here you can count you got five fingers so you can got one two three four and five so we're we're probably at the low at that point there that would be confirmed with support on 120 uh, so you could look to uh, flip the orders at that point if you wanted to. The cocoa market, uh, we're also long here as well. And uh, the reverse is here. Not getting much up here in this in, in this uh, week here. But I think we've got an interesting count here. So on the daily chart here. I mean in the monthly picture and all the rest of it, it's actually really quite a bearish picture. Um, as such and that being the case this being the high point up here we do have five waves down one two three four five uh, so we can look at that as in wave one or an a wave wave two or b and five waves down here for uh well wave c and with wave c in place here we could actually move up through here if this is going to be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. We can move up from here. <coughs> but I can't call that in until we move through the 61.8%, which is at roughly around the 2900 here. 
Otherwise, while this market is uh, doing what it's doing here, we can also have a bearish count here. So five waves down here for wave one, wave two, and then wave one here of minute degree, and then an A and a B and a C here, back into the 50, 60% retracement level for wave two, and then down into wave three, which could be very powerful going to the downside. So um, we've either got a really good long trade coming or we've got really got a really good short trade coming. So just drilling in here a little bit, just on the low here, this does appear to be five waves up. So the 50, 60% retracement level will come in around these numbers here may not come back down that far but obviously this is the support line through here so we're looking for five waves up three waves back and then up again now this leg up here remember that this is either the start of a bull market or it's just the start of an abc correction so five waves up here three wave counter trend and then another five waves up into this space here now uh, we should get a bit of an idea once this trend starts what we actually have here. Will we have uh, an A, B and C wave up here or a wave 3? Because a wave C, a corrective wave, will be on more of an angle like this where the wave 3 will be more of an angle like this here, more powerful. And normally in a correction, in a, in a corrective rally, the A wave here is normally the sharpest and then the B wave is what it is, and then the C wave is normally more lazy like that. So we should be able to see and work out what we need to, where we need to be and what we need to do at that point. So a good trade coming up at that point, we just need to uh, allow it to mature a bit, fall into place and um, all tickety-boo. Now the platinum market, which I should put up near the copper market at the beginning of things, um, we're also long here at this price and we've got our reverse at this price here. We'll push this up through to here. Uh, on the on the, um, on the the two hour chart here, <clears throat> from the low here, we can count uh, five waves up here. So, well, three, well, let's just go over it, shall we? So we've got wave one here, wave two here, and then we've got five waves here, one, two, three, four, five for wave three, wave four here, one, two, three, four, five here for five. So we've got a five wave move here. We've got a 61.8 retracement level into this area through here. And now we wanna be counting five waves up. So we've got, well, you can see one, two, three, four, and five here and five waves in the last one. So should have nailed that right on there. Now, the situation here is that well, we've got three waves up here. So we can have an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave. That could be the top there, and we can just work lower from that point there, okay? Or this is what's going to happen. We've got this situation here, this move here. This is the 61.8 retracement level coming into the 50, 60 area here. If the market goes through this area here after a simple a b this is already the a wave here so an a wave here a b wave and a c wave we don't want the market going below this 61.8 percent if it does that then you know that you're in a bearish market and you need to be short okay so you really want to be short on the retest of um failed retest of 50 you can build in at 30 and 20 and 10 and you'll get a bounce off here but there could be a very nice bearish picture unfolding uh, here in terms of the weekly robo of course we will have to wait uh, for that to to play out here so we'll need Thursday and Friday to get our reverse button up back up here somewhere where, where wherever this finishes here so um, in terms of that if we get let's just say for instance this is a corrective rally in three waves okay so what we'll see on the downside if that's the case we'll see one, two, three, four, and five, somewhere down here, and then we'll see an A and a B and a C. So we will be able to bring our weekly robo up to this reference point here to short through that point there. That's what I'm sort of hoping, but you can sort of wave your wand and magic and uh, see if you can get uh, a better scenario happening uh, here. All right, cheers.